Hey guys, welcome back. So we're doing another Shop My Stash. We've got a completely different setup, which you'll see more in the makeup organisational video. I think I'm going to put that up first. So this here, I don't know what it's meant to be. It's just a makeup organiser. But the only thing I could get in there was my brushes that still need a wash. So don't judge me too harshly on the fact that my brushes are dirty and I think I'm going to wash them today after I film this shot my stash video but I think I've got a better setup now we've gone to weekly I just don't need as much space so I'm going to show you I'm not going to do this every single time because it's just quicker to show you the products I'm pulling but considering you haven't seen this setup I'm going to show you um, how I've done it and how we'll and how we will be doing it going forward. So, right, so base products and primers and things like that. Can you see that? Yeah, quite well actually. Maybe zoom in a bit. Okay. Um, so we used this last time, this Dior primer. I think what I'm going to do is pull um like once I've finished talking about these. Um, I'm still not mad keen on this guys, so it's a Dior face and body primer and universal Still not mad keen on it. I did really really like this. I only used it a couple of times though It's the shades by Shan hydrating primer so that one can go back as well And I absolutely love this. I use this every day. I wore makeup um, This video is going to be up a little bit later. I want to do them weekly but I didn't use makeup for two days, um, so it's it's nine days instead of seven. Um, then we've got these two bases that I also keep in here. So we've got the W7 Prime View and we've got the W7 Sparkle Slay. Can you see I've literally, I use it that much, I use it on the daily basis that all the prints come off. So these are going to stay in because these what I use on the daily and then I've got this in um, this is just my lip balm off Amy which is really really cute I'm gonna keep this container if I can um, but that's a lip balm there I've only actually used the lip balm once so I need to get into the habit of moisturizing my lips um, right so that's that we'll take the foundation out and then we'll pick some products um, so the foundation's in the second drawer down. Um, can you see that? Does it want to focus? Yeah. Um, so this one. Last week I was saying, oh, I'm not too sure about it. And I'm still not 100%. For what you can get from the drugstore and for paying for £32 for this, guys. Well, I didn't actually pay £32. I paid 20 something for it. I don't know, it was on the higher higher end of like £28 or something like that. But even so, at that price, I would expect to absolutely love it. And it does look nice on the skin and it looked really, really nice with this underneath it. Um, but I won't buy it again. Um, even if I really, really fall in love with it, I won't buy it again. Just purely because I can get better ones at the drugstore. This one, guys... I absolutely loved. I only got to use it a couple of times though, just purely because it's gone. Let, can I show you? Let me show you. I mean, there is a bit there, but there's not enough to kind of do the full face. I'm just wondering if you can see right to the bottom. Can't really see, but it needs to go in empties, and then we can talk about that at the end of the year. I need to get a new one. It's not expensive, so... Let me just wipe that pump because that pump's looking disgusting. Um, it's not expensive at all to buy, so I will definitely get a new one when I've not got a lot of foundations. It wasn't even in Project Pan. I just love this foundation so, so much. So I'm just going to put it in this box down here. Right. Um, and then the last foundation in here that always stays in here because it's in Project Pan is the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. So that'll always stay in there. And, you know, there isn't that much left in here, so I'm kind of inclined. No, we'll pull a different one. Well, you know, I was kind of inclined to leave that in. 
Right, so what I'm going to do now then is pull primers and base products and then at least that part of it's done and you've seen what I'm doing. So let's open my, my base product drawer. I've got to admit I don't know what I want to pull from here. So let's, let's put these things back. Um, right, so that, let's put these on here. Oh, that one doesn't go there, it goes in the box. Off to the side. Primers. Right, so for primer, for like a, a poor minimising one, my mum got me this when she got me the brush holder or the makeup organiser. So it's it's one from Primark. It's the, it's the Prep and Perfect Pour Smoothener. Um, so I'm really looking forward to trying that. So I want to pull that. We'll put this... So we're going to put everything back. So I'll put that back. What glowy product do I want to use? One that I've not used in a while. You know, I feel inclined to use this. Just because I've used the e.l.f. one recently. And I did say when I did the swatches in my primer um, kind of declutter and collection... I think I like this one better, so I think I'm going to pull that. Um, and then, is there a hydrating primer as well? I've got way too many powders. <sighs> it's ridiculous. Considering I don't even use them, it is ridiculous. I think I'm going to pull this Too Faced one out. So the Too Faced Hangover RX that Naomi kindly gifted to me, we're going to use that as well. Um, so we've got two primers and one kind of glowy product that can be used as a primer, that's more than enough. Um, powders then, I need to pull a foundation as well, but let's do powders. Something I've not used in a while, which will be this um, Revolution one. It's in a NYX part. Um, but I've not used this Revolution one in a while, so we'll pull that, but we'll also pull, oh here, I also want to pull this glowish one as well. So I wanted to use that last time when I pulled something else, so I think that's it for powders. Oh actually, I'm giving that one away. Um, foundations, right, I don't know how this one is, it's the Rimmel Lasting 25 hour with Comfort Zero SPF 20 in 010 light porcelain, now you'd think that one would suit my skin tone but I'm not 100% sure so that one needs to come out and also I want to do a skin tint um, so it's kind of a lot of options, but I just want to kind of know which ones I like, which ones I don't, so in December we can declutter them. If I've not used this in December, like the rest of it, that'll be going, because I just, I, I don't like it on my skin. Um, right, let's, I want to pull this, I wasn't going to, I was going to pull this one. I'll do that next time, next week. Let's pull this because I'm going to be using that. Actually, it's not it's not Huda though, so it doesn't matter. Um, I was, I was going to say I'm going to be using the Glowish Powder. I don't have that much left in this either. It's about down here. Um, so let's pull that one as well. Um, and we've also got the Project Pan, so that's more than enough for a week. Um, do I want to pull... A colour corrector, I don't think so. I do need to pull a concealer though, a new one. Yeah, we've not even got to concealers yet, so let me see what I want. I'm just wondering which one of these five, sorry, I haven't used as much. I use the 17 one all the time. 
I've used Primark, I've used I've used them all, like so I guess I've got down to the 17 one. The 17 one is my holy grail. It just looks like this. Um it's very, very light, but I do like a brightened under eye. Um and I think that's it from all that. I think that's it. So we pulled quite a lot of products there. I don't even know if they're all gonna fit in. Um, let's pop them onto the side. I need to get sealers out. So the concealers are in this drawer here. Let's move them over there. Oh, that um, Dior primer needs to go back. Right. So, we've got some products there. I'm, ju I'm just going to zoom you in a bit. Maybe put you up top right so these liners I used so they can go back in the pot I really like them both actually but this Urban Decay one was my favourite I used it with a purple look so this one is in the shade Vice and then this one is from a set that Amy also sent me she sent me them both so this one is called Daydream Eyeliner Pencil and I can't actually pronounce this name I'll show you if the camera will focus oh yeah there we go I can't pronounce that name so they're going back um, so this concealer will be going back as well I really really enjoyed this concealer it's really really good for the price point guys it's the Essence Skin Loving Sensitive Concealer so that one can go back I do want to use the rest of this up there isn't that much left it's from body collection um, and literally it's just here if the camera wants to focus which I don't think it does yeah it's just there so maybe I'll have it done by this next rotation um, yeah that's that's everything for that Right, so let's try and put, so these are all my pencils, it's overflowing, I certainly don't need any more at this point, let's put all these in there, put that back, okay, so these drawers, so we'll do this one first, so concealers, no it's primers isn't it, are you seeing, yeah, so primers, I don't think this big one's gonna go in. Let's take them out a sec. Maybe it will. Right, leave that like that. I might have to put some more stuff in. Oops. No, this big primer isn't going in. So that. the foundation at the back's been a little bit let's try this again no I think what I'm going to do is move this along and put that there what's going on okay so hopefully this won't be an issue now because this needs to go back in there um, that foundation does as well which hopefully will fit and then this tinted serum does as well concealers, that other concealer needs to go in there otherwise I'm going to forget about it so concealers, powders We've got three of the darn things. I don't know. No, we've got two. Because the other one can go back. And then that needs to go back as well. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do with them as of yet. I mean, they could go in like just above. They could go in that like, like little grey container. Um, I'm not too sure. Let me show you the eyeshadow palettes that I used. So we used last week. And I got so much use out of it. This Glam Light Ice Cream Dream palette. I mean, come on, is she not pretty? So, 
prior to me using it this past week I'd only used the neutrals and I've, I've used the brights um, all this week um, so I will be doing reviews on these palettes that I've used along with some others when I get to 10 normally that's when I do the ranking and normally it's been about a month at that point so look out for that that'll be coming up soon and then we've got the Natasha Denona mini pastel um, that Amy got me and I thought at the time when I pulled them both out I thought um, they would make really really good companion palettes and I was right um, so that's that this shade here that I was really looking forward to using it's really really nice guys but it's sheer um, so it could do with going under a matte which is very very similar to it just to bring some sparkle out but I do really really like it um, so they are both going in my review section um, I'll just put them here for now right and then we've got this bigger drawer here I am so hungry guys sorry if you can hear my stomach right so Amy kindly gifted me this bronzer. It was the only bronzer I pulled out and I've gotten so much use out of it. Part of me wants to keep it out for this rotation. Can you see that the crown's gone? But I have swatched it as well for sure. Um, it's going back for now but it will be coming back out again soon. I just need to get more use out of some things that I've put on chopping block um, and I need to figure out what I want to keep and what I want to declutter. Um, for kind of like December time and I don't have many months I know we're only in what July um, but I mean we'll soon be it'll soon be Christmas <laughs> I shouldn't really say that because I've, I've, I'm nowhere near prepared for Christmas at this point and then she also sent me this oh my gosh guys oh, I absolutely adore it it's the Pat McGrath Labs Divine Blushing Glow Trio it is so pretty so I use this I would say out of the seven days I use makeup I used it for six five or six no I would say five because I did use the hourglass palette a couple of times as well it is beautiful um, yeah so I love both of those products that Amy sent to me and then like I said I had the hourglass in as well um, so it's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit in Universe and I used this blusher twice, I didn't really use any of these products, actually I used the bronzer once and then I use the powder like more or less every day um, so that can go back as well. I used this a couple of times, this is my Project Pan highlighter, I mean look how well I'm doing with it guys, I would like to finish it off. It, take me ages to do that though um, then I've got the NARS Pierre Hardy I think I used it once um, and it's not going anywhere yet um, but maybe I mean I used it with this not even in this shot my stash rotation I think it was the last one but I just don't want to keep them in again for now I'm keeping yeah for now I'm keeping them in my collection I don't feel like I'm going to be doing any red leaning looks. Maybe I should just keep them in um, in case I am. I'll I'll wait and see what palettes I'm pulling. I, I already know one palette that I'm... Well, I know both palettes that I'm going to be using. Um, but we'll look at the palettes in a second. And then I'll be able to tell you if I want to keep them in. Um, so I used this. I thought I'd be using it as more of a bronzer type situation. Um, it's more of a bronzer type situation. I did really, really like it. I wore it yesterday. Um, it's in the shade Darling Peach. I wouldn't say it's peach at all. In fact, let me do a swatch of this so you can see it. I wouldn't say that's peach. It's got more of a brown undertone. Um, but I did really, really like it on my skin. Loved using these Barry M Fresh Face blushes loved using these Barry M Face Fresh blushes so we've got one in the shade Peach Glow and the other one is in Summer Rose I absolutely adore those um, I haven't used this so I think I'm just going to put it back in the collection till I really feel like using it and if I don't feel like using it, if I haven't used it come December it's going it's cheap for the Charlotte Tilbury Peach Gasm and then this is just 
project pan. Um, so I've used quite a bit of it. Oh, nearly dropped it. But yeah, that's project pan. So we'll be filling that up. And then let me show you just above that. So we've got some palettes in here that I used when I went out to dinner with my mum, which I want to talk about in the review section. We've also got this hot mess of a palette. Um, which I'm panning that. You can see the shade I'm panning. So I keep that in there as well. And then we've just got that little um, grey thing there, which has a mix mash of a mishmash of products. Um, and then, can you see? Yeah, just about. And then I've got this as well. And this has like project pan things in it. Um, it's got my project pan eyeshadow palette in it with my makeup geek shadows. Um, so it's just got everything in it. I really need to go through it and just kind of figure out what I want to keep, what I want to declutter. I want to use these um, singles, like this next one. What shade is it? It's in the shade Lace. This was in a project at one point, so I want to see if it's still smooth. Feels like it is. So yeah, I do want to use that. Um, what about this colour part one? No, nothing's coming off that, so we can declutter that. And we can declutter this. This used to be my Holy Grail favourite lipstick, so that one can get decluttered as well. Can't wear it because it's drying up, and I'm I'm sure there's going to be other stuff in here, but I'm not going through that now with you guys. This is a shot my stash, not another declutter. Um, we'll do that in December. Right, so let's go over to eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to take just in my top drawer. I have shifted a few things around like these um, these self-made palettes are up there so I definitely want to pull this one that Amy has recently gifted me um, I'm not going to say the name because I'm going to butcher it and also when I do looks with it because I think I'm going to do looks with this on the channel I've not been doing looks recently just purely because I've had my hands full with the collection and declutter video, but I think with this, definitely. Um, and I'm thinking about pulling the Cosmic Brushes Delicious Delights, I think it's called. So, I think that's the two palettes, guys. Um, I was thinking about pulling this one as well, but maybe we'll do that next week with, with something else. Don't want to overwhelm myself and not be able to do the weekly shot my stash so that's that palette there um, and then it's just what face products and lipsticks so I pulled the other one out it's um, delicious delights I've just pulled that out from the actual right to me where the bookshelf is so I know I wouldn't be able to do that kind of one-handed so we're going to look at these palettes in a second. Um, so, in this drawer, I have been thinking about have... this one for a while, for the last couple of weeks, so I feel like I should pull it. It's got two blushes in it and a highlighter, which I'll also show you. Um, but also, so I really want to get to grips with these palettes, you know. I, I really want to figure out what I want to keep, what I want to declutter. I don't think it's anything in here. I think it was a highlighter palette. I think it was a sleek one. Do you know what, like, with the different coloured highlighters in the shade Solstice. don't want to pull this drawer too much because these kind of handles come off. Right, here we go. Um, I think... No, not that one. But should I pull this to get to grips with it? Because I'm not too sure about the highlighter. We'll pull that one as well. Um, I think I'm just going to be pulling palettes this time, guys. Where is it? Okay, so I've found it. It's this one. 
Right, so we're going to need a bronzer. So my lippies are just here, drugstore. Um, I don't know whether I want to pull from drugstore or high-end. I did use high-end though, I think, last week. I need to check. Um, whatever I used last week, I'm going to go the opposite way this week. Um, but yeah, this is what the drawers are looking like. Been a bit of a change since last shot my stash. So if you watch these shot my stash videos, you'll know. Um, so let me take you over there. So we've got kind of the raw drugstore. I've kind of tried to put them in colour order, but that pink makeup bag down there has got all kinds of stuff in it. I need to go through that. That's all the drugstore at the moment until I do the declutter. So we need to look at the palettes so I know what blushes to pull, if I need to pull any singles. So let's look at this Nomad Cosmetics one. I mean, look at that palette, guys. Isn't it so, so pretty? Right, so I would say something definitely orange-leaning for the orange and yellow eyeshadows. And then maybe something pink for the pinker eyeshadows. Because I want to do at least three looks. A yellow look, an orange look and a pink look. So I need to figure out what we've got in blushes. Because I don't want to be stuck. Like I felt like I was stuck last week. Like for um, kind of the right tones in things. And then we've got the Delicious Delights. Which has got a whole range of colours in it. Um, so it's got a whole range of colours in it. So the um, Benefit one has got, from memory, it's got like Shelly, which is very pink leaning, which will go with the majority of these pinks. And then it's got a slightly lighter one, Dandelion. I, I think I'd be alright with that for this palette, so I wouldn't need to pull any separate blushes. But for the other one i think i need to pull at least an orange blush an orange leaning blush um i don't need these packages i think i'm just gonna get rid of them um and this one's i've only just realized but this one's and i don't think i did it um this one's kind of broke anyway so we'll get rid of that one um, so, yeah, we're, we're pulling them two palettes. Put the colour saver back in. Right, so let me show you what I mean with this palette here. So we've got the Benefit Cheek Party Package. And can you see how it's got a pink and then like more of a, a lighter pink? And then we've got the highlighter. So that would go really, really nicely with the Cosmic Brushes palette. Um... So let's go and hunt down then for an orange leaning blush. So all my blushes are in here. Let's see what we've got in creams first. <clears throat> this is very orange leaning. And I've not used it for a while. Let's pull that. Maybe pull this pink blush. Actually... Didn't Amy get me an LYS one that I didn't use? That might go with some of the looks that I've got in mind for the Nomad palette. Let's pull. Do I want to do that one or that one? Let's do the Made by Mitchell. I've not used this one in a while. This one is... When it wants to focus. Strawberry cream, I think it's called. And the LYS one is called... The LYS one is called Grateful. Also having trouble with that focusing. So now we want some powders. Some kind of orange leaning powders. Which you don't have many oranges. No, I wanted to use this a while ago. I think it's more peach. I'll get it out. I'll take it out. I might not necessarily use it. Um, I think it's, yeah, I think it's definitely more peach. Um, what about the Anastasia? I'm sure there's an orange one in here that I've forgotten about and I don't barely use it. So, or is that more peach as well? 
Right, let's bring it out anyway. Um, so that's blushes. That's all blushes. I think it's blusher overkill. Um, but let's go down now to... I mean, I don't think I need highlighters. Right, move this over here. I just want to see... It's mainly this palette, isn't it? So, can you see what I'm doing? So that orange definitely goes with those orange tones there. Um, and I just need an orange like powder to go over the top. I mean, even this one would go as well in Darling Peach. So that one would go as well. I'm not too sure I'm keeping that one out. Yeah, I think, I think that one would go with um, this blush. So we'll keep that as a set. We'll put the Darling Peach back. Um, then pink leaning blushes. So we've got, yeah, Shelly. Got Shelly there. And then we've got this one as well. I think they'd go as well with the palette. So that's a set. And then do I need this? Yeah, I think that would go with that shade there. We'll keep the LYS one out as well because I've not actually tried that um, and I've not tried anything from LYS so that would be really really good to try um, and I think it's just bronzer now and lippies. Right so let's just see what lippies I pulled last time. A lot of them I didn't even get around to using um, so they can actually stay in. So we've got the Maybelline 117 in Groundbreak. I'm still testing it out. I'm not too sure of the formula that can stay in. We've got this Christian Dior one in the shade Rouge Blossom. That can go back. We've got this Gwen Stefani one in Original Recipe. That can go back. It should have gone back already. Um, I'm going to keep this Revolution so far. I didn't wear it. I'm going to keep this Ciate and Chloe Morello one out in the shade Sydney. I didn't really wear that. Do I need to be pulling any lipsticks in then? And I've not really worn Revolutions Awaken. So maybe an orange toned red and then we're good. Um, but yeah, we'll see when we get to lippies. Actually, there's a couple of um, Charlotte Tilbury ones I want to use. So we'll probably pull them in because they're really, really bright um, summer shades. So let me get the bronzer actually. Let me show you which bronzer I'm going to pull. Otherwise I'm going to forget that. Okay, let's get a bronzer. One that I'm not sure of. Okay, I'm not, I'm not even too sure you're going to be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, I think I'm going to pull the Physician's Formula one out. Because that's always been one of those I'm not sure of. And I want to test this Pixie by Petra out. There's a shade in here that I think... This one, I think it'll be really, really good for a glowy bronze. Um, but I think that's it. Actually, no. Let me get the Elf out. I really, really like this Elf putty bronzer. So let me get that. Um, and then... That's everything apart from lipsticks. Let's go down to lipsticks. I was saying that I wanted a orange toned red, didn't I? I've not used that in ages. Let's pull that. Let's pull a couple. I'm gonna pull this one as well. I don't think it's red toned. But I think I'll pull that and I'll pull this next one. So those two, that's it. Um, we've got enough neutrals. So, yeah, let's go and put everything away. Okay, so we're just going to put them lipsticks away first and they're done. So we've got four. We've got seven again. Let's hope I use these. They actually pulled for some different shades. So I didn't think it through. Right, so that's that part done. Let's go over here. This is going to be tricky because I don't really have too much room. So, put these palettes up there for a, a minute. Right, let's put the cheek products away. 
So the cheap products go in here. I'm going to get rid of the red tone blushes. I don't need them. Okay, so... Right, so that's all the cheap products put away. Now it's eyeshadow palettes and I've got powders and there's a face palette as well. I don't think the face palette will fit in there. Oh, just... We're doing well guys, we're doing well. I'm going to give you an overview so if you can't see what I'm doing, obviously don't worry about that too much at this point. Um, now, eyeshadow palettes normally go in here. I honestly don't think it's going to fit. Maybe take this out of this. Or maybe it will just fit. Nah. Maybe try and do something different with that. So, like that, it'll fit fine. I need to put them somewhere else. They belong more with base products anyway. They should fit in here fine. Right, that's that. Um, so powders. I've got two of the, the things. I don't think they'll go in here. Right, so powders are going to have to go with palettes, I don't really have a choice, and then this finishing filter can go with palettes as well. Right, I think we're done guys, um, so let me show you the overview now. Okay, so let me start from the bottom here. So he here we've, not that one, sorry. So here we've got like all my base products, primers, this is a uh, nourishing under eye serum that I use and when I'm not using that I'll use this one from Essence, it's the Essence Hydro Hero under eye stick which I really really like, <coughs> excuse me, and then I've got my eyeshadow bases, my lip balm, my foundations and concealers. Um, then across here is all my base products. Yeah, it's looking a bit packed. Normally it wouldn't be like that because normally I don't pull the, this many face palettes out. Um, but yeah, that's what it's looking like. Then up here we've got my eyeshadow palettes. I mean, for the shot my stash maybe I should just put everything from the face palette in here. Um, but I think I'll leave it for the time being because those eyeshadow palettes wouldn't fit where I've got my face palettes and blushes and stuff anyway. Um, then we've got powders and that flawless, not flawless filter, the, um, the collection glow filter finish. So that's that. And then up here we've just got Project Pam and then on the top there rubbing alcohol, lip liners, brushes that need washing, story of my life, some jewellery in there and then this is the overall view. So you'll see what's in here. I'll show you now actually because by the time this video goes up you will have already seen it. So I put my eyeshadow brushes in here like my best ones. Um, then so this is where I used to have all my short moustache so on top there is my Pamagraph Labs palettes, more Pamagraph Labs, more Pamagraph Labs, Glam Light. Sounds like there's someone knocking on my door. And then this drawer here. Sorry guys, I'm just listening to see if there's someone knocking on the door. Freaks me out. So this drawer here is for palettes that I'm waiting to review. That shouldn't be in there. Um, 
So yeah, um, that's everything up there. And then obviously you saw the makeup brushes and the brush holder. So yeah, I'm going to have to spend a good day cleaning brushes. But this is my shop, my stash, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, it really does help get my small channel out there. Share and comment and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.